This is the Panasonic FX37. It's a good camera, takes great photos. It does have the tendency, however, to attract dust onto the sensor. And this is how to clean the dust off the sensor. It's actually a very simple process. You're going to need a few tools, so get those together first. Small mini screwdriver, Phillips head. I use the number zero. It works great. You want a blower unit of some sort. This is my Giotto's rocket blower. Can of, uh, a can of compressed air works fine. A couple tins to put small screws and pieces into. And some sort of dust-free cloth and work space. You want to make sure that you clear as much dust off of the camera and the area before you start working. You don't want to put more dust on the sensor. First thing to do is remove the five screws that hold the uh, back of the case onto the camera. First one is a small black screw on the left side when you're looking at the screen. Screws two and three are on the bottom. These screws are right next to the tripod mounting uh, hole where we would screw the tripod in. Those three screws hold a black bracket into place. Let's take that off. We'll set it aside for now. Screws four and five are on the right hand side. Top and bottom. And the bottom right hand screw holds one other small bracket piece into place. So go ahead and stick that in the tin with the other pieces. Now to take the back of the case off, there's a tiny little clip where the case, uh, the, the back case holds onto the body. What you want to do is press just slightly on the edge of the screen there, not too hard so you don't want to break anything, to release that clip from the back body and you'll see it lifts open. Now it clips on the side here and at the top. So once you bring it open, you want to be careful uh, and also don't tear the, the ribbons that hold the screen in place. You want to carefully lift so this piece here releases and at the top there's two other clips that go right underneath the shutter button right here. And by pulling and gently twisting you can get that to release. Now you can see the the ribbon cables that you want to be very careful about. Let's just go ahead and take the screen and put it off to the side just like that. Maybe put something behind it to hold it in place. Now you have this open. There's three black screws you want to remo uh, remove and one silver screw. Let's take those out. One two, three, and the silver screw is right here dead center. It's a very small screw. Some tweezers, maybe not also a, a bad tool to include because it's very easy to drop these screws. Now that once those four screws are out, this metal bracket comes right off. This is the inside of the camera. This is where you want to start being careful well, careful the whole way through, but this smaller metal bracket holds the sensor in place. So we're going to remove three screws and we'll lift this up. It's held in place by this uh, ribbon cable here. And we'll blow the sensor and then reassemble it quickly. You don't want to leave this open for too long because anytime it's open it's exposed. Anytime it's exposed you can get more dust or scratches on there. So get your blower, lift this up. You can see right here that is the sensor. That is what collects all the data. So give it a good, good blow. So get all the dust out. And now let's clip this back together. And reassembly is the exact opposite of the disassembly. Put our three screws in.
You can see how small these screws are. They can be somewhat finicky. And this one right here. Always likes to give me a hard time. To and three. Let's give these one more quick tightening. Let's go ahead and put our bracket back in place. Here's those long black screws that we took out. One, two, and three. Screw these in real quick. And the small, small silver screw that goes dead center. Now with those all in place, let's bring the back cover onto the camera. Remember, gently, you don't want to tear those ribbons. Make sure that these brackets on the side tuck under, that this bracket on top goes underneath the black casing of the camera right by the shutter button. And this is the one part that sometimes wants to be somewhat problematic. There we go. And it all clips together. So now with those in place, let's get the five screws that hold that back cover in place back on. And we should be good to go. Screw one. Don't forget this little metal bracket that goes on the bottom. Bottom right hand side. See how it wants to okay. Screw two. The larger metal bracket goes on the other side. Pop that over. There's three and four on the bottom. And last, one more screw on the left side holding that bracket up at the top. Now with all those together we should have a dust free image and I can already tell that this is much better than it was. Very easy. Hope it works for you. Be careful. Don't break anything. Good luck.